The city of Santander, open to the Cantabrian Sea and known as the Gateway to Castile, is the capital of the autonomous community of Cantabria, located in the north of Spain. This was the site of the Roman colony of Portus Victorae, which was later inhabited by the Visigoths. In the Middle Ages, Alfonso VIII of Castile granted the city several charters which bore significant commercial privileges. It was Cantabrian sailors led by Admiral Bonifaz who broke the chain that the Moors used to seal off the Guadalquivir River with the bow of his boat, making it possible for Fernando III, nicknamed the Saint, to conquer Seville. This heroic feat is portrayed in the city's coat of arms with a picture of the Tower of Gold and a ship on the Guadalquivir River breaking the chain. After the Middle Ages, several plague epidemics decimated the city's population. Centuries later, two dramatic events stand out in history. The explosion of the Cabo Machichaco ship, which was loaded with dynamite, destroying the port and adjacent streets, and the devastating fire of 1941, which raised the city's old town to the ground. Under King Alfonso XIII, the city of Santander became the summer residence of the court. In the city itself, we can enjoy the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Assumption, the Town Hall Square, the Plata Porticada in the neoclassical style, the Magdalena Palace and its gardens, the Paseo de Pereira, and very nearby the Botin Center which seeks to promote the social and cultural development of Cantabria. These are some of the city's most iconic sites, as well as the El Sardinero and Magdalena beaches. Stone houses in the mountains are typical in this region with their large heraldic coats of arms, as are caprichos, mansions built mainly by Spanish emigrants who left to make a fortune in Latin America and returned very wealthy. Near Santander is the town of Santillana del Mar with the Romanesque Collegiate Church of Santa Juliana and a beautiful main square. Another medieval gem is Liergenes with its country houses and stone bridge. Other examples of Romanesque architecture in Cantabria are the collegiate churches of Santa Cruz de Castaneda and San Pedro de Fervatos. Along the Cantabrian mountains are the valleys of Liebana, Nansa, Besaja, Pas, Miera and Asson, among others. In the Liebana region is the town of Potes and its Torre del Infantado Tower, which is very near the Romanesque monastery of Santa Torubio de Libiana and the Fuente de Cablecar in the Picos de Europa mountain range. Also in these mountains is the Campo Valley, where we have the source of the river Ebro in the town of Fontibre and the village of Barthena Mayor in the Saja Basaja Natural Park. There are many examples of cave paintings in the province, such as the Puente Viesgo Caves and the most famous example, the Altamira Cave, considered a genuine treasure of cave art. On the coastal strip we have towns like Castro Urdiales with a port and the St. Mary of the Assumption Church, San Vicente de la Bequera with a bridge over the estuary and the Santa Maria de los Angeles Church and in Comiches we have Gaudi's Capriccio. Other noteworthy towns in the area are Torre la Vega with its palace of Demetrio Herrero, Santonia, Laredo, Reynosa with the Church of San Sebastian, Capitón de la Sal with the Palace of the Count of San Diego and Suances. There are six natural parks, the Picos de Europa, the Dumas de Liencres, the Saja Besaja, the Ollambre, the Colleras del Asón and the Santonia, Victoria and Joel Marsh's natural parks. Cantabrian cuisine includes such delights as clams from Pedreña, anchovies from Santonia, as well as squid and meats such as sirloin steak from Tudaca. Typical stews include the cocido montañés made with beans, 
the cocido lebaniego, which includes chickpeas, and the tuna pot, or soropoton. Desserts include quesada, a traditional cheesecake, and sabaos pasiegos, cakes made with delicious milk from the Pass Valley, polcas de Torre la Vega, a puff pastry cake, and pantorillas de Renosa, a puff pastry round. Its most popular cheeses are the semi-hard quesucos de Lebiana and the Picon de Bejes blue cheese. Documented by Luis Diez de los Rios Ivaje.